Partitioning your PC's storage drive has many advantages, and it's actually pretty easy to do. So what are the advantages though? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform a disk partitioning. What's disk partitioning? Simply disk partitioning is breaking or dividing your drive, your storage, your hard drive into multiple sessions. Okay. And um, what are the importance? Why do we have to break our, our storage into different partitions? Uh, number one, improve organization and data management. By dividing the hard drive into multiple partitions, you can better organize your files and data. It will make it easier for you to find and access any file or any documents you need. It will prevent you from, you know, waste of time. It will prevent you from getting your computer being cluttered with a lot of documents. It will help you also to stay organized. Let's say, for, exa for example, you divide your drive into separate partitions, you know, for operating system, for programs, for user files, and for media files. It will make it easier for you to organize and to locate uh, a specific files. Number two is better or improve performance. By creating multiple partitions on a hard drive, you can improve the performance of your system, especially if you're running multiple operating systems or you have many programs running on the same computer. Each partition will now be treated as a separate drive and in that case, it's going to help to reduce device uh, resource conflicts, okay? Also, if you have an operating system running on a separate partition, separated from your user file, it's going to help and improve, you know, the read and write uh, speed of your computer. It's going to reduce disk uh, fragmentation, you know, and by doing all that, it's going to help improve the performance of the system. It is usually not advisable to have, you know, user files, operating system files, all the programs, everything together in one place. Number three, I'll talk about improved security or data protection. When you divide your drive into multiple partitions, and let's say one partition for your operating system, if the operating system gets corrupted, the other partitions where your data is stored will be saved. So it's going to help you in your data security or data protection. Also, let's say that you divide your drive into different multiple partitions now, and uh, you know, there is a special partition for very important files. If the other ones get corrupted, this one will be saved. So you have data uh, security. Let's say that you have downloaded um, a program with a virus. The operating system is corrupted or there is a malware that gets in. It's going to only corrupt the file or the partition where you have downloaded that file. All other ones will remain intact. Or let's even say that in your own case, what you have done is that you've partitioned yours into two or three. Your operating system is one, your data in one, and you have used the other extra one for your backup. Let's say that the main file is not corrupted. The other one that is for your backup will be intact for you. So all you need to do is format the one that has carried the virus and then, you know, uh, restore your data and that's it. Easy restoration of data in terms of crash or loss. Number four, easy backups. By dividing your hard drive into multiple partitions, you can create separate backup for each partition and this can make it easier to manage your backups and can also help protect your data in the events of data failure or disaster. I already mentioned this. Number five is the use of multiple operating system. You can partition your digs in such a way that in each of them, you can install a different operating system and it's, it's going to help you if that is what you want to achieve in your partitioning. Okay, so that is it. Let's get into uh, the PC9. Let me show you how this can be done in easy uh, steps. On your Windows button or Windows logo, right click, select Fix Management. You get there or just come to your search bar. 
and file date management. Here you have create and format text partition. Click on that one. You get the on just come to file manager open and right click on this PC. Then select show more options. Click on manage. You have a uh, computer management windows opens on the by the left hand panel. Click on Dex management. So any of those three options will still take you to our, where you're going. All right. Now, as this one opens, look at the volumes here. Which one do you want to partition? If it is BC, you want to partition, just right click on C and click on shrink volume and give it some time. It has come up now. It shows the total size. It shows the size of available space I can shrink. And now it is asking me to specify what I want. Now, uh, everything you see here is in megabytes. Okay. So if you want to partition just 10 gig, multiply your 10 gig by the megabyte. That is, you're going to multiply 10 by 1024. That's what you will do. Um, if you want 100, multiply your 100 by 1024. Okay. I'm doing 100. 1024 is going to give me uh, 102,400 megabytes. All right. That is 100 gig. Then next, I'll click on shrink. Just a few moments, it will come up and you will see that. All right, my 100 gig is ready, unallocated. So I will, again, I'll right click on this 100 gig and click on new simple volume. Then click on next. I don't need to change anything here. Click on next. The drive later. Now you choose anything you want, okay? You can just select from here, A to Z. Take any one you want. I'm comfortable with, uh, with D. So I'll go on with letter D. I'm going to assign that so that it will help me to find, you know, the, the new drive I've created. Uh, let's even say that you come to your computer, click on computer. You are still seeing only drive C because you have not allocated this one yet. So that's what happens at times when you create a new volume, you will not find it until you come and allocate it, give it a letter, assign a letter to it. Then after that, you go back to your computer or this PC, you will see it there. So click on next. What file system do I want? NFT, default allocation, the name, maybe I want to call it data. Let's type it in there, data. Or if it's backup, whatever you want, go ahead and give it personal, office, work, whatever you want to call it. And that's all I want to do. I click on next. This is a summary of what I've done. If I'm not okay with it, I'll click back. I'm okay. I click on next and finish. I just give it a few minutes. It will come up. All right. So here I have my data drive D. Oh, you come here, you find it here. All right. Now let's go to this PC and check. Is there just very simple as that. Okay. But let's say that you no longer need it. Simple thing to do is right click again, click on delete. It will give you warning just to make sure that you are, you know, justly doing this. Do I want to continue? I say yes, delete. It is deleted and now it's streaming on unallocated. Before you delete, make sure you backed up every data that is in that partition. Because if you don't back it up, you will lose everything. Okay. But let's even say that um, you've deleted it by mistake. The simple thing to do is go back, allocate it, and then uh, download Recover. When you download Recover, install it, scan the drive, and you'll be able to, you know, restore your files. Okay. So uh, you see that. After deleting it, it is still there. What we need to do to get it back added to our uh, drive C is to right click on that drive C and select extend volume, then click on next. Let's say you have multiple of them here. 
the next they want you want to you know recover that space that storage from and click on next then here you click finish and it's done simple it's gone no longer there okay go to peter it's no longer there all right so that's how simple it is to create this petition guys thank you very much for your time i hope i've provided value in this video please check through this channel there are more videos uh, you may be interested in and take some time to subscribe like and just drop a comment there to support the channel to grow thank you very much and i see you in the next video bye